It took 20 minutes of heavy showers along Wrightson Road and Sackville Street to bring foot-high flood waters catching residents off guard, leaving many stranded in their workplaces, others trying their best to rescue their cars and other valuables. Motorists stuck in hours-long traffic around the Queen's Park Savannah as a result of the floods, many saying they can't recall seeing the Savannah almost completely underwater. Parts of the Queen's Royal College seemed threatened by the rising waters. The torrential downpour accompanied by thunder and lightning also brought floodwaters in St. Anne's and the Port of Spain General Hospital. And across much of the western part of this country, streets like Hamilton Holder in Woodbrook were blocked off to vehicular traffic as water rose as much as two feet. When it rains like this, residents like Liz Banfield literally walk out of her home into a pool of water. This is Hamilton Holder Street in Woodbrook. This is not supposed to happen in this area. Two o'clock in the morning, it starts to rain. I'm hearing it pouring and I know it doesn't take 10 minutes of solid rain and we get like this. And this is frightening. You know, if you look in my house, you'll see I've already moved everything up because we are two level. Oh no, but this is real frightening. Nearby, her neighbor's entire downstairs turned upside down as water reached into her home. Television sets, air conditioning units and furniture completely destroyed. Councillor for the area, Cleveland Garcia, says drainage is the root of the problem. They didn't have this kind of flooding for a little while, but I believe true they had put some drainage, but due to the high tide as well, you know, but we had to look into it and see how best we could deal with the situation. But the damage was even more extensive further west in the Glencoe and here a severe land slippage, threatening homes and causing massive traffic pileups. With the rain still coming, homeowners looked on in terror, fearing the possibility that more rains could mean disaster for their homes. The Met Office says the heavy rains were the result of the intertropical convergence zone and the forecast is for more rain. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.